Hey guys, this is Tim Friedau, and today I'll be reviewing Countdown Hero, which is an application that allows you to build timers like you're seeing on this page here at the bottom. Uh, but not only that, you can also create them as inline timers. You can also create email timers specifically for emails. And the cool thing is when these timers expire, you can uh, give them an action like redirect to another page. And that's not all. Uh, within Countdown Hero, you can also give tags to the people that are visiting your page. So you can integrate this with your autoresponder. And let's say the timer has passed. You can also tag the people inside of your autoresponder. Let's say you have get response account. You can tag the people inside of your account so that you can fire other automation with another follow-up, for example. So the easiest thing to do is to just create a timer so that it can show you how it works. Now, it is really simple. Here at the top, we click on create new. And then you have three options. You can say in an X amount of days at a chosen time. So when I select this, you can see I can set the delay of the days to delay and the time. The other option is in X hours and minutes. So I can say in 10 hours and 30 minutes, uh, then the timer will expire. Or I can set at a fixed date and time. Now let's choose this one and then uh, give this campaign a name. So this is my review campaign. And then you can decide to give this a, lab a label. So I'm going to call this a uh, demo here. I'm going to click this plus, and this is so that you can categorize your timers. And then in here, you can choose a specific date. So I can say, for example, the 28th at, um, let's say at 10 o'clock. Then I want this to expire in here. I can also set the specific time zone, uh, which I like to use for this timer. And then the cool thing is that you can redirect people that are visiting your page. So maybe your a page builder has a countdown timer, but what happens when the timer expires? Now that's the cool thing. Let's say you wanna redirect them to this page and you can add extra information on here where they can sign up for the next release or something like that. So this is the redirect URL that they will be redirected to. Now. What you can do here is you can change the timer appearance. Now, there are multiple different timers that you can choose from. So what you're seeing here at the top, this is one design, but they have multiple designs that you can choose from. You see this? I like this one for an email. Uh, this one is cool. I really like this one. This one really matches my website. So I'm going to choose this one and then you can change everything around it. So the background color, for example, if you want to have a black background, you can do that. Do you see that? And now, for example, you want to have the text color to be white on black, as you can see. So this way you will be able to change everything. Also the text label color, for example, if you like to have those white, do you see that? Now you can add this as a timer to your website. You can translate this to any language. So you can say days, hours, minutes, seconds. Uh, and you can also disable the seconds if you don't like to have the seconds on the timer itself. And then uh, you can align this to the left, the right. You can add corners to it, as you can see here. You can choose if you want to override the font of your current website font. And um, also here... The cool thing is that you have different options. So you could do this full width. And when you do that, do you see this, this timer at the top right now? So this is now one big timer. So this will be stretched on top of your website. Let's choose this example first. Uh, that I'm going to show you how this will look like on your website. And of course, the circle color, you can change that as well. I like to keep this blue because this matches my website. And you can also do separators if you like to, by the way, here uh, between the timers. You could change those to whatever you prefer here. I prefer to have none. So let's select none. And then once you're done here, uh, you can click on OK. So this is my timer. Now, when I click here on Save and Get Code, it's generating this code here for me. When I click this code, it's being pasted to my to my uh, clipboard. And now when I go to my website builder, if you want to add this to your website, the only thing that you need to do is you need to add an HTML block. So in this case, uh, it works like this. I click on HTML code, and now I paste this code 
inside my website, I hit save, and now I'm gonna publish my website. And when I preview my website, look what happens. So this will be the countdown timer. I think I need to visit my original page. So let's, uh, let's go there, view the page here, and then let's refresh this. Yes, there it is. So as you can see right now, I have the timer on top of my page and now it has rounded corners. Now, you can get rid of these rounded corners, but it's just to show you the example. I can also edit this timer and I can say, no, I wanna have this full width at the bottom. And look at this, when I do this, I'm gonna save this and now I'm gonna refresh my page here. Look at this, now it's at the bottom of my page. Do you see that? A beautiful timer at the bottom of my page. Now, let's say I don't wanna have this at the top or bottom of my page. Then there's the third option to create this as an inline timer. So when I click on inline here and I click okay, I'm gonna hit save. And now I'm gonna refresh my page and everything, you know, you only have to paste, uh, to paste this code once in order to have it, the changes to make effect on your page. So when I refresh this, look at this. So did you remember where I added this block? So now I've added this block on the page and now the offer is expiring in line on my page. I can add this anywhere I like to. Now, if I like to match this with my website, I can go back. Let's say I don't wanna have the black color, but I wanna have the white color background and the text color needs to be blue again. And then the other ones, let me see where that is. Uh, boom, 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 the text label colors. I like to have those blue as well, or maybe I wanna add those black. Look at this, I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna refresh my page and this looks a lot better. Do you see that? Now it's matching my page design. And you know, I can change it anytime. If I like to get another timer, if I like to get this red one, simply press okay, gonna hit save, gonna refresh my page. Look at this, boom, it's now red on my page. Now, the cool thing is that you can also uh, create the same timer for your email here. So you have two timers. This is the timer for your website and you can create a separate timer for your email. Now, let's say you really like the style of this timer. Then what you can do here is you can say, apply this style to the web page timer. Are you sure? Yes. And look at this. Oh, I did it wrong. I did it incorrectly. I duplicated this timer to the left timer. So when I change this back to this one, here, let's say I can configure this with my own colors. Uh, then what I can do here, I, I can say apply this style to the email timer. That's what I needed to do. So when I click this button, I click here, yes. Look what happens. I got the exact same timer for my email. Now with email, it works exactly the same. So if I like to add this to my email, I can do exactly the same thing. I can say, copy this embed code to my clipboard. And then when I go to my email platform, in my case, I'm using Keep by Infusionsoft. The only thing that you can do or need to do is you need to add an HTML block to your uh, email builder again. And now you paste that code inside of your email builder. And look at this, boom, there it is. There's the timer. So I think I need to save this because I didn't save it because I wanted to have this red one. So when I go back here, and I changed my HTML code here. Look at this, uh, pop, pop, pop. there we go. Boom, there is the timer on my email. I can also say I wanna have this at the bottom of my email. So I'm gonna drag this one to the top and look at this. Now the timer is in my email, perfectly showing the time uh, as showed here in this countdown timer. Now, there are also other options inside of Countdown Hero uh, when you choose the other timer. So we have two other timers in here, uh, which also allows you. So let's, let me select one in here. Um, let me check it out here. Yeah. So here you can set the hours to delay and minutes to delay. Here you can say the active countdown redirect URL. So there you fill out your landing page and then the expired. So that's what we did in the previous as well. Uh, but here you get some extra options, forward email address to the redirect URL. When you do this, you can also forward an email address to the next page to be out of field, for example. Sometimes this can be useful. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you is that you can assign tags 
to this offer. And it depends on your marketing platform if it allows tags. But I have keep, and I can say, for example, when this timer expires, when I send somebody from my email to this web page with this timer, and when the timer expires, I want to add this tag, for example, trigger abandoned series one, for example. This is just a tag in my system. Or I can choose to remove a tag. Now, the cool thing is that when an offer expires, for example, and you redirect somebody from your emails to your pages with the countdown offers, and they land on the page where the offer is expired, you can immediately fire another email based on a tag that is being provided by Countdown Hero to your marketing automation platform to send out another email with another offer or a last chance offer. Hey, for example, we noticed that you uh, visited the page with product XYZ, for example. Uh, sorry you were too late, but we want to give you an extra chance, something like that. And then you give another 12 or 24 hours or whatever you like, or you can offer another product or a down sell or whatever. And that's the cool thing about these options that you can tag your email system uh, with the tags once the uh, timer expires. Now, you can use these URLs here, link URL from an email. So here you can see you're using this link to your landing page and then you can see the contact email. You need to fill out this code for your email provider. Now, this will be provided automatically once you have connected your autoresponder to, um, to this platform. And I'm gonna show you the integrations as well. You can do HTT post uh, webhooks as well from your email platform or uh, here. You can use these webhooks to get this automated and also the thank you page. Now, this is something differently. When people sign up for your page, for example, on a page to download something, then you can redirect them to another page where this timer will be activated automatically uh, with a certain amount of time so that you can use this timer on Evergreen as well. So it's not a typical timer that we all know. This is a very advanced timer that you can use to yeah, integrate with your autoresponder to do multiple actions uh, as well. Well, regarding the integrations here, uh, when you click on integrations, I'm gonna leave this one. You can see this is keep. When I disconnect this, uh, let me see if I can see the other platforms. No, let me try to confirm disconnect. Yes. So now I'm no longer disconnected to my autoresponder, uh, but these platforms are supported. So we got Active Campaign, we got A Weber, we got ConvertKit, Keep by Infusionsoft, Get Response, we got Drip, we got Kartra, uh, Clavivio, Clavio, not sure how to pronounce that, MailChimp, Ontraport, MailVO, and Mailer Lite. Those are the platforms that are supported if you want to use the email automation as well. Uh, and right now, this is available for $47 to $67, it says here. This is the information that I got so far. That's the front end offer. Um, and yeah. If you like to get this, there's a link in the description of this video. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a, a full page ready like I normally have because I didn't got time to build that out this time. Uh, but I found this this timer for su uh, such a quality product that I thought I needed to send out this video and then uh, show it you this way what the offer is. And this is also the only info that I have. So there's a bump offer for 365 email story prompts. There's a countdown hero agency uh, there's a rescue mission course and a first 5k list building course as well to build up a 5k list um and yeah that's it if you're interested uh check out the link in the description below uh, appreciate it if you purchase it through my link and i also thank you for watching hit that thumbs up uh, if this video was useful for you and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done yet. I do a lot of product reviews and hit the notification bell. Also, if you are subscribed, hit that notification bell uh, so that you get notified each time I upload a new review. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in my next video. Have an awesome day and talk soon. Cheers.